Red Flags, Upgraded Car Handling Model, F1 World and Breaking Point 2. Let's go over all the new features that EA has just announced for the new F1 23 game. First off, the game will feature two new tracks from the real life season, Qatar and the popular Las Vegas circuit. These tracks will be playable at launch among the other tracks on the 2023 calendar. The France, China and Portugal tracks will also still be playable. Red flags will be reintroduced into the game, meaning the race can be stopped mid-race due to a crash or debris that is too big for just a safety car uh, to come out on track. The red flags aren't the only thing to influence race strategies in F1 23 because the 35% race distance that was used in F1 Esports will also make an introduction in the F1 23 game. Now multiplayer will finally get some extra love in F1 23 with crossplay staying and the introduction of the F1 World Hub. In the F1 World Hub, you will be able to complete challenges in both offline and online modes to level up and unlock car upgrades, team member upgrades and cosmetic upgrades. Uh, these levels will be called tech levels and those will be able to unlock you those upgrades. The upgrades can then be used to improve the performance of your own F1 World car. So it's a completely separate game mode. Added to F1 World is a complete safety rating system that will place you in races with online players with a similar skill level as you. Co-op and split screen actually returns and there will be a new league racing system through the RaceNet application. The handling of the cars has been upgraded as well to make the behavior of the cars more predictable, which is a very welcome change after how easy it was to spin on F1 22. The cars are confirmed to have better traction when braking, accelerating and cornering too. Adding to that, controller players should have an easier time in F1 23 due to a new technology called Precision Drive, which will actually give controller players a better control over the car in-game. Breaking Point will also be returning for another installment, which will build on the story we have seen in F1 2019 and F1 2021 with Aiden Jackson, Devin Butler, who will actually be teammates at a new F1 team called Corner Sport Racing Team. Uh, a new female character called Kelly Mayer, who is Devin's sister, will be part of the new storyline too. The game will release on PS4 and 5, Xbox Series X, S and 1, and PC via EA app, Epic Game Store and Steam. These will actually be the minimum and recommended requirements for systems on PC on Steam. There's going to be two versions of the F1 23 game. The Standard Edition, which is going to release on the 16th of June, uh, that one is going to include the F1 World Starter Pack and 5,000 Bitcoin. Now there's another edition and that one is the Champions Edition. This one will be purely digital and you have to pre-order it before the 31st of May to enjoy all the perks that it has. You get 3 days early access, so the 13th of June, F123 pre-order Las Vegas pack, Max Verstappen designed in-game items, 4 new My Team icons and Breaking Point 2 uh, My Team icons, some Breaking Point 2 customization, the F1 World bumper pack, which is one of the equipable parts that you can use in F1 World, and 18,000 Bitcoins. Now these were all the big hitters for today's reveal. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed it for more F123 content. Peace.